What's going on guys, it's Moose with Combat Support Supply, and today we have something pretty interesting. We have the new G&G TR-80 DMR. So this is G&G's first dedicated DMR. It's got a ton of unique features on the inside. Um, it's It looks pretty cool, so let's just dive into it. All right, starting off, you got your G&G catalog, bunch of stuff to drool over, a product warranty with QR code, the manual for the TR-80, how to operate it, of course, our combat sports supply QR code. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do, then why are you here? A 48 round mid cap. And then of course, the TR-80, which this thing is actually, oh, and that cap that just fell off the floor. Interesting stock, metal handguard, polymer receiver. I actually like that. I like how the barrel is exposed. Not too many DMRs have that. It's always at the, the end of the handguard where this is kind of, it gives me like a, like a HTI Desert Tech, you know, style. It's interesting, I like it. We're gonna get into the internals, what makes this gun really, really nice. All right, we're gonna quickly glance over the body before we actually dive into the gearbox because we need to break it open. It's got the Goss V12 stock and the stock in itself is an entire video. Um, of course, you do have a extender for it. Cheek riser, um, a monopod with a Picatinny thing, I don't know. I, I'm kind of at a loss for words what this is, gun guys help me out. Um, but then on top of that, it is adjustable. Again, there's a lot to this stock, just like the rest of the gun. Also added onto the stock is a QD sling attachment on the right side, left side, and then here at the very front. And then this is removable, so you can add it wherever you want along the M-lock rail. The stock even folds. For a DMR, I find that a little weird, but that's just me, because the rest of the gun is so long. Personal opinion. Moving on to the receiver. It's got an Ifrit 25K motor, uh, ambidextrous selector switch, and mag release. But then it does have a bolt release on the left side. And this is kind of a big deal with the selector switch. It is a dedicated DMR, so it can't go into full auto. There's not even a full auto function. But you get this nifty remote. It does have a full auto function on it. And that whole system there is what makes this gun very unique, and that's what we're going to get into next. So you're going to have to keep watching. Opening it up. What? There's no hop up. That's because it's integrated with the gearbox system. Um, and it's pretty cool because the hop-up adjustment is at the front of the gas block at the front of the gun. Um, so with that being said, with the hop-up being part of the gearbox, it makes for better compression for the shot. Right, left, left, ah, you get it. So after consulting with the nerds here at Combat Sports Supply, we have in fact found out that it uses G&G SR25 mags. It does come with iron sights. Um, it, of course, they're the G&G peephole. If you flip down. Of course, it is a DMR, you'll probably be adding something else to it, but it is a, a nice little feature. Polymer receiver, M-lock, metal handguard. Um, of course, you got M-lock on the sides and on the bottom, and a couple of cutouts to make it more lightweight, question mark. And to finish objectifying this gun, it's got a fluted outer barrel, leading to just a standard bird cage, but it is a 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dissect this and look at all the internal parts and what sets this apart from other AEGs. Real quick, out of the box, it's sitting at 390, I think 400 FPS. It's, it's shooting pretty decent. Gearbox in this is G&G's new G3 split gearbox. So it's kind of like breaking open an AR, um, but there's one extra step. So at the very back, on kind of where the stock is, there's a little screw that you're gonna need to take off. That is important, don't lose that. Uh, but then after that, you remove the rear body pin and it splits open. So this thing's only shooting at 1.49 joules out of the box. You're gonna probably wanna upgrade it to get it up to DMR specs. That being said, you come down to this quick chain spring system, take a little Allen key, twist it off, out comes the old spring, in goes your new one, tighten it back down, good to go. TR-80 has an optical selector switch module, um, which means that you're, you know, not now we're doing a video! Trigger selection is gonna be electronic versus mechanical like every other AEG. And now to what makes the TR-80 the TR-80. And it's this drop-in electronic board. Um, and this is what's gonna control your pre-cocking, 
your um, selector or your fire modes, your trigger presets, all that's gonna be done with this remote. And this is the master key to your gun. This thing controls your internals. No other gun does that, I don't think. Maybe, probably not. This is it. So there's a couple different buttons on here as you can see. Um, of course you got all your selector or your fire modes, three round burst, five round burst. After those you got your trigger settings. Your functions, which helps with the, the pre-cocking, um, all the different kind of trigger pulls. Um, and of course you get to your self-diagnostics. If you can pre-cock it, you can decock it. Pop-up is locked into the gearbox. It comes out as one solid unit. And this is how you change all those settings. First you're gonna take the mag out, take your remote, very carefully slide it up into the mag well. I'm just kidding. You just point at the gearbox and push the buttons. It fixes it. Something that we kind of came up with that I thought was really funny. Um, whenever we first saw a remote, I was like, well, what if another guy has a TR-80? You could just be like on the field and take this remote and be like, ah, off. No, unfortunately not. This remote is tied to this gun. So anytime you get a TR-80, the remote only works for yours. Sadly, you can't just switch the trigger settings on someone else's gun. So no, you can't mess with other people's guns. Let me get that tactical warfighter stance. Oh, great clamp C. Pew, 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 pew. I like the TR-80. Unique body style. I, the internals are an insane collection of electronic and mechanical pieces. Um, the hop-up is a little unique. It's a little interesting to go all the way to your front of your gun to do that. Um, the remote, I think that's the funniest thing. If G&G &G didn't have that remote to the gun thing, I could just find someone else with a tier 80 and be like, ah, no. That'd be the greatest thing for Airsoft. Between the weight, the style, I kind of like the stock. It's, it's a little fancy for my taste because I'm poor, but I like this. You, you slap a, a decent little sight on here, bipod, big old 50 cal brake. This thing's gonna be sexier than me. And that's insane. Go in, fool! Beep, 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 beep. Wait a second. Let me get my remote halfway through this battle. Full auto. Let me put the mag back in. Da 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 da